Wow, you are not going to believe this. This went 4-0 last night with these live text notifications in the NBA. And I'm going to share with you the way that you can take advantage of these text notifications when it comes to the NBA. How to use these text notifications when you get them and you will see how easy it is to beat the books with this basically it's it's just this crazy thing that you can just fade this information and you will get where you need to go which is in the winner's circle with these uh, live text notifications so this is specifically to the nba so when it comes to these live text notifications every every game is different every um every notification can be different and what i mean by that is like when it comes to the spread or a total the way you play that notification uh it could be very different and so i'm going to show you how i play these nba notifications and how it went 4-0 just in NBA last night. So let's take a look. This is super exciting stuff because it's it's hard enough to get uh, you know three and one in in a night, and this one co comes out 4-0 in uh, NBA spreads. And this is a technique I actually had to learn this over time, getting these text notifications and trying to get the number that they're giving out and I couldn't get it and then noticing that, hey, it's actually not hitting. So here's what I did. So first, let's take a look at what we had in the NBA last night. And I'm gonna show you through my email. Okay, the first game that we had was the Bucks versus the Raptors. In the fourth quarter, the score was 91-115. And they're telling me, take the under at 236 and a half. Uh, that's the live line. The starting line was at 223 and a half. So, you know, looking at that, you you can see that they that the game is like that momentum is starting to go. It's obviously gonna go over that closing line, which was the 22 two, 223 and a half. And so the live line is at. 236 and a half so that is 13 points above that closing line so they're saying that the value here is in the under but the the issue with that is that the momentum continues to build with these games and let me just show you the score for that one uh let's see that was the bucks raptors um, and it's 111 to 130. So way over that uh, 236 and a half. So this is what I'm talking about. When you get these kind of notifications for the totals, this is something that you can actually fade. And here's why. You're going to get that. Uh, they're giving out under 236 and a half. But when you log into yours, uh, your book and see that live line, that 236 can actually be 235 or 234 or it could go to 237 you know that that score in basketball is always changing so quickly but what you know is that number 236 and a half if you that what what i suggest in these is fading the 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 value number that is given out on these live text notifications specifically in the nba only and that's because of the way the game is played and the momentum within the game or lack of momentum in the game so uh if let's say you get uh they're giving out under 23.6 let me see here under 23 236.5 and let's say you 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 log into your uh, book and you see 235. Well, you can easily take that over. Let's say that you logged in and it was like 237 and a half. Oh, well, it's like, oh, that looks better. But in reality, you can probably wait a little bit and then it could probably drop back down. So let's take a look at another game. Um, Nuggets versus Timberwolves in the fourth quarter again. 
72 to 91. They're giving out the over 204 and a half. And uh, the closing line was actually at 219 and a half. So obviously this game was slow, right? And so let's take a look at the total. What was that? Nuggets, Nuggets, Wolves, and Nuggets, Timberwolves. 89 to 110. So that's barely 200, like 200 points. So that that number here was over 204 and a half. So as I mentioned, if you take the under on there, then you will def that that's another winner, right? So you fade the the value for these live text notifications in NBA only. And that's very specific. So uh, let's take a look at another one. So that's two and oh, and these, so I'm going to show you. So these are the one I, I flagged these as the total, the spread, uh, I'm sorry, the total, uh, live text notifications. The other ones were spread. So when it comes to spread, um, it's a little bit different when it, when it comes to those, but so that's why I'm talking about specifically the total and you know, with, with, it, with, where's my mouse with, with everything, you know, Everything is never guaranteed, right? That's the way it is in sports betting. You come up with a system, it's not 100%. And so even live text notification, when there's value in the spread, like, um, you know, the team opened up, or it closed at minus five, and now their live spread is at plus 10 and a half, you know, that, that, that's still not guaranteed, right? But it's just showing you that, hey, there's value here. But um, when it comes to these live uh, values in the totals, totals are actually easier to call. Um, a lot of the sharps, they play specifically only totals, especially in college, college basketball. Those are easier to call um, pregame. And you can see here that even during the live, that it's actually a better, a better bet. You have a, you have an easier time to, to call that bet. So let's take a look at another bet. Um, we got the Kings versus the Warriors. Kings 72, Warriors 71 in the third quarter. So you get these real time. And uh, the, the closing line was at 227 and a half. The live line at 213 and a half. They're saying take the over, but I tell you to fade it. And man, I forgot. Kings and Warriors. Kings and Warriors, 101 to 102. Oh, if that went in overtime, maybe it'd go over, but 101 to 102. And so that's obviously on the under there. So it, as long as you fade that, NBA totals, fade these value uh, information, and then you can get some winners. So that's 3 0. Here's another one. Um, ooh, in overtime, this. This notification came in overtime, 117 to 117. Um, under 256 is the line. Of course, the start, the closing line was at 226 and a half. That's not considering overtime. So that's actually a value of 29 and a half points, taking the under. But as I mentioned, we fade this because especially you're not going to get this number. Um, you know, it's 256. I doubt you will get that number. You might get like a 255 because the number is already high. And so they, most people is going to take the under, but, and that's, that's kind of what, where the trick is. <laughs> so the Clippers versus Lakers, it's an overtime taking the under. That's what it says, but you want to take the over here and 125 to 130 and that, that's because that momentum keeps going so that that's obviously on the over here if you fade that so one two three four those four are winners so as i mentioned when you get that live text or email notification for nba totals it's a great idea to fade it and not to mention that they're gonna give you that total number. I'm just gonna give an easy number. Let's say 200. You're probably there. You when you log into your book, you're probably gonna get a like 199 or 198. And let's say it's the 200 that says under 200. Then you get a, you come up, you open your your app, and then you get a 199. Well, that's an easy over, and that's a better 
chance of winning that. Nothing's guaranteed, but you saw here that last night those text notifications went 4-0, and this is a pattern that I've been noticing when it comes to live, uh, live text notifications with our better AI system. So um, that is what I want to share with you guys today. So if you want to check that out, go to picks.betterculture.com, sign up, and then you can get your live NBA uh, spreads sent to your email or text. It's crazy. NBA season just started. You can take advantage of this all season long. All right. So um, comment down below if you got any questions and please like, please share this video because Everybody, every sports better can take advantage of this. And I appreciate you guys watching.